Oh my goodness. That's incredible. Still here. Yep, that's for sure the same one. It's missing the tip a little bit. The captain code, is it whole? I didn't even notice. What's up guys? It is currently 12. Uh, basically midnight right now. Uh, I just arrived at the coast from Toowoomba about six hours ago. Wanted to get in a quick night search right here. I'm not sure what you can see behind me, but uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. It's pretty tiring. Okay guys, we just arrived at the spot here. The shell is gonna be a really broken uh, checkered bonnet but you can't really see much that's sort of far away. So I'm only gonna be filming Oh, the close-up shots, just like this one here, so you guys can see. I don't have a torch or anything, I'm just using the flash on my phone through the video. But, hopefully we'll find some goodies today. I haven't been showing in quite a while, maybe two weeks. So, this is going to be exciting. Point two. Okay, so I'm under this little rock here, and I'm just sort of digging around seeing what we can find under this area oh, something in my eye hold on all right haven't had too much luck on this side yet but that's okay because the other one on the left side of the mountain is usually my go-to no i don't see anything here anything under there these are the sort of areas that I have been recently looking around more. Holy cow, that's a big fella. Wow. So, also what I've noticed when I come night showing, a lot of the animals come out, like the live shells, they come out more than they do in the day, which is really interesting. Maybe because of all the people through the day? I got no idea. Let's take a first dip down here. Oh, that is freezing on my feet. Whew. It's not too cold tonight. Wow, check out that piece of sea glass. It's reflecting off. That's a beauty. I'm keeping that, and I don't usually keep sea glass. Anything down here? Rock. Lovely. This is actually my first time night shelling on my own. It's pretty spooky walking down the steps from the car, but other than that, it's really not bad. Yes, guys, we have our first live find of the night. Here we have a bunch of little crabs everywhere and, of course, a big boy Arabian cowrie. Did you check that out? That's a beauty. I love that dark spot on top. Usually when there's one, there's more. But so far I can't see any more. That is sick. Check that out. Cyprae Arabica, I believe. Awesome. Let's look for more. Just like them. That him. Guys, 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 check that out. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. That is not a blue ringed octopus. Check out the size of him on my hand. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. Check out that color. <laughs> that is so cool. Second largest octopus I've ever seen. I'm trying not to startle him or get him scared or anything. Check that out. <laughs> That's incredible color. Oh, he's coming to me. <laughs> wow, guys. That is insane. I've only ever seen two. This is the, uh, this is probably half of the size of the other one that I've seen. That is incredible colors. Check that out. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna let him go to continue on. Wow. Here's another live animal. It seems like it's a live night tonight. And check out the color underneath this fella. I'm pretty sure it's a type of sea hare. No idea, really. It doesn't really look too familiar, but the underneath is very cool. 
super uh, interesting colors. We'll leave him back down there now. That is so cool though. Okay, we're at one of the favorite gullies here of uh, the left side of the Point Cartwright Rock. And we're taking a really, really slow look, making sure we don't miss a thing. I still haven't got over how cool that octopus was. I haven't seen an octopus in a couple of months and that was only the second one I've ever seen so I'm very excited about that. Like I could find absolutely no shells tonight from now and still be psyched as with that sighting I guess but we are still on the hunt. Look at all these tiny ones. Anything in here? I'd love to find a Humphreys cowry. That would be nice. I still haven't found one. Let's lift this fella up. Feels pretty sturdy. Not much. That's all right, let's keep moving. Further down the trail here, we have a couple of goodies, a tiny cowrie there. Probably not gonna take that, but the big boy here is a, oh wow. It's actually a really good condition bonnet. Cool. Oh, that's a captain cone, is it whole? I didn't even notice, yes it is, wow. <laughs> wow, you're joking. I didn't even notice that until like right that second. You're joking, that's one of the smallest Captain Cones I ever found. Thank you, Bonnet, for showing me the way. That is awesome. <laughs> Captain Cone, nice. Alrighty guys, let's keep moving. Looks like another Bonnet find here, right around this little crevasse. Haven't looked at it yet. Oh, how's it? A bit full of junk, but other than that, it seems to be perfect, just like the last one. Bit of scratches on the side there. Other than that, that's really nice. Cool. What do you guys think? Have you ever found a uh, checkered bonnet or normal bonnet? Comment down below. We have our second live Arabian cowrie uh, in quite an unusual spot, actually. I've never seen one in this little crevasse here. It's much smaller than the first one that we found tonight, but nonetheless, it's still beautiful. Those measles actually look really, really nice. Check that out, awesome. We'll leave it back there and we'll keep going. Hopefully we'll find some more. Live Supre Arabica number three sitting, oh no, four, wow. So there's actually two here. There is, it looks like a mother or a dad Arabian right there sit him there and then a tiny tiny fella right here Check out that size comparison Wow, that is very cool <laughs> I love the tiny one. That's for sure one of the smallest ones I've ever seen Beautiful Look at that little family down there. Is there any more down there? Not uh, not that I could see got a tiny serif there well, that is so cool to see. I've never actually seen that before. Oh, let's flop him back over. And let's put you back right there. Let's see if this Serath is empty. Uh, it's too beat for me. I got plenty. <sighs> Every little sound that goes off around me scares the living daylights out of me. That was very scary. Something, I heard something and it just scared the bejesus out of me. Whew. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was just a sea sponge, but let's get to it, jeez. Not actually sure if this one is live or empty, but all right, that's for sure empty. Check out, oh my gosh, check out that color. Wow, that's incredible. So this is a snakehead cowrie, very, very common here. But this is definitely one of the best ones I've ever found. That is excellent color. Wow, that's definitely a keeper. Check out the size of this giant, absolutely giant black sea fan. Oh, that is very cool. That is definitely coming home with me. 
biggest one I have ever seen for sure. Got a sea hare down there, but check out the size of that. It's probably about 12 inches. And there's a checkered bonnet there I see. Let's, uh, let's get to that. I'm gonna put this in a bag somehow. So as I was about to pick up, uh, I might as well now. As I was about to pick this up, it's way too beaten for me. I see this. Look at the size of that. I have no idea. Holy shit. Sorry for my language, guys, but that is the biggest one of these tritons I have seen in my whole life. That's a mammoth. Look at the size of that, guys. This is just like some sort of uh, nasty growth on it. My goodness, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, that is. Wow. That's probably about six inches long. Wow. Beautiful operculum there. Beautiful white color inside. Amazing. Alrighty guys. Ooh. We're gonna leave him right there. That is incredible. Wow, let's keep moving. This is a good honey. Here's hole. another live triton, but this one was actually from a couple of weeks ago. Wow. He is still here. Yep, that's for sure the same one. It's missing the tip a little bit and it it is live. But right, check that out. I haven't seen him in a, about a month. It's really good to see him thriving along in this little hole here. Very cool. All right, he keep growing, mate. Oh, I can't quite reach it, but he's safe there. That is epic to see. We have our first empty Hebrew tonight by the looks of it. Is it? Uh, maybe, uh, I am really not sure. It's got like two rocks in it. I'm pretty sure it's uh, empty. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's empty. I'm pretty confident. Nice. Beauty little Hebrew cones, very fresh. We have a buried bonnet. Let's hope it's whole though. And yes, it is whole. It's a bit roughed up though, just needs some bleach bathing, 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 whatever. And it should be good. Not bad. I like them. 